Hello, you are on take card. Let's have a closer look to Creo interface. First, there is a standard toolbar. This is a standard toolbar and a ribbon area. Okay, it is contain contains basic basics controls to your Creo. First, it's a new file. With this, you can create a new part, new assembly, and new drawings for drawings or format drawings create a 2d drawings of your 3d part or representation next is name this makes your name your part i will name it as a nut okay but where it's belong not is every not is a common part but this nut belongs to a b l o w a blower housing right blow apart so common name is used to create a different part name and design uh, put it in a part family right this is a use default templates this will make a tem use a template that used to create a standard units okay i will uncheck i will check this and use default templates give it okay see here using template default program files Creo and template is mmns part solid as a template that means it is using units as mm in length n for newton and s for seconds okay next is i will close it here with this button you can close okay next is open with open you can open any of creo files and import any of your pi files other files or formats like i will like to open the part file from creo then i can open dot prt file means uh, nx part file or solidworks part file assembly files drawing files formats manufacturing granite file whatever you want you can open it with these files okay see here solidworks part inventor part nx part you can open it just select and open you can select and open igs and other formats too it means you can import the files right this is how work open next is select working directory this is the most important thing in Creo Workbench. Creo Work. Lex. Select the working directory. Select the working directory. I will select uh, C drive. My documents. New folder. Okay. My documents and new folder. I have selected this as a working directory. It means all the works I have selected and done in this directory only okay so this is how I work with it see if I open a new file and just close it close it from here always so it won't ask me to save but it will save automatically in working directory if I press it save it will save in working directory already so this is how it's work next is erase not display creo have two types of memory creo have sub memory and we have defined a working directory it means creos our where our and uh, our memory it like in session creo have sub memory in session and our working directory memory so in session creo have saved some of part files or whatever you open or used files in this session okay session means you can close and the session will be closed okay if you erase use it is not display that will remove all the parts from this sessions this session now you can see there is no session no parts in the session right so this is the creo okay next is I will going to open a part file and show you how to work with it.
let's take the impeller housing right and open so this is how it's look like okay first we have to check the controls first with pressing middle click you can rotate your model okay next is with help of control and press middle click you can adjust your zoom zoom in or zoom out okay and with shift and middle click you can move your model like pan okay and with alter you can rotate your model along with your click direction click axis this is a spin center when you rotate automatically it will rotate around your spin center okay next is this is a graphic area of creo 3.0 let's select fit to screen that will fit your graph graphic into your screen okay next is zoom in so that will make your box zoom in and you can zoom on specified area okay next is zoom out so that will make your zoom out and again fit to the screen right then repaint i will later explain you the repaint uh, use of this repaint command in next video okay so thank you very much enjoying your thank you for watching bye bye